Hey everybody, it's Brent back with Dabber at Laboratories. Hope you all been doing well. Uh, sorry, it's been a little while since I posted up a review. Uh, I promised to get a little more fre frequent again. And today I'm going to be doing the Dr. Dabber Switch Puffco Peak Comparison. And this is one I've had a few requests for. So, uh, take a rip real quick off of this, uh, this tank I found that you can actually load distal it in. It's like an e-juice tank. Probably uh, do a little video on this later after I've used it a little bit more. I don't want to recommend it to anybody quite yet because I don't want to recommend it and then have it start clogging on people. But no clogs yet. I put about four or five grams through it. <coughs> Ooh! That's distillate in there. It works very well. All right, let's get into it. So we'll start out with the Puffco Peak. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go with all the upsides to this compared to the Dr. Dabber Switch. Portability. So this, it doesn't really come with the carrying case. The Switch doesn't. Uh, it's like a cardboard box. It's really big, stands out. You know, everybody's gonna know what that is. It just, I don't really take this one anywhere. I don't consider it much of a portable. I leave it at home. This goes to hotels with me. Uh, if I'm going out of town, you know, somewhere where I'm not going to be using a pocketable, like out and about, like in a hotel room, I always bring this. Um, another upside, it's highly customizable. Uh, there's a lot of glass blowers that are making uh, attachments for these, and they're starting to go down in price since it's been happening for a while now. At first, they were very, all of them were very expensive. You're starting to get down there, they're becoming a little more affordable. Like, I wouldn't want to pay more for an attachment for my Peak than I paid for the Peak itself. It's just me. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a rip off of it. Also, this comes with a good carrying case too. That makes it easy to take around, take with you. So I'm gonna put in some of this RSO Go I found the other day. Super bomb. I haven't had shatter in a long time. It's got some flavor to it like this. I guess they use grain alcohol to extract it somehow, uh, and it's just very, very good. So with the Puffco Peak, I like the cold load. And I use it on the red setting almost exclusively. So it's in the middle. I think green being lowest, white being highest. Start this thing up, double click. Wait for it to heat up. So yeah, I would say I still use 50-50, I use them. It's hard to really say a lot of bad stuff about either one of them. Getting there. Flash. And also on this Puffco Peak, I found that even after it vibrates, you still want to wait a couple seconds to really get a thick white hit. Very good flavor. <clears throat> kind of Puffco Peak works very, very well. Highly portable, take it with you. <clears throat> Breaks down into smaller pieces. One thing I think is negative about them, there's no quartz option yet. You have to buy them from a, like a, you know, another vendor. Everybody likes quartz. So that's one thing about them. Um, there, I know there's a lot of issues with the coils. You know, people weren't really sure how to clean them. Like, they recommend you do not do this, like push down with the Q-tip, I think. I barely push down on it, because you can crack that uh, ceramic heating element down there pretty easily, and I think when it's hot, it cracks easier. So, you just wanna be really careful cleaning them out. <clears throat> but, all in all, really good device. Move on to the switch. So, this thing, I really, really like a lot. 
Um, I use it a few times a week still. <clears throat> the tabletop device. Uh, if I didn't have so many rigs I collect glass, I would probably use it a lot more. Uh, I honestly, I started out with the quartz element, or the, the crystal mode, and I have really seen no reason to move backwards into ceramic, just because uh, everybody else I've talked to likes the ceramic, and I finally did try it a few times, and it's not bad, but I feel like you need the quartz. I really, really like it best when you're using the quartz bucket. And, like a dumbass, I forgot my tweezers, so I'm gonna go grab them so I can show you. I don't even know what I did with the actual switch ones right now. But, here is that quartz bucket. It sits inside titanium and uh, I just been torching this right now it's a little bit brown it doesn't seem to affect the flavor I've never actually got uh, let it go to the point where I get full of like char you know I always take care of it before it gets there and I'm pretty crazy about um, swiping them out with q-tips every single time uh, <clears throat> this thing one of the things that I think is amazing about it is there's no coil to replace you never have to replace a coil it, you know, it doesn't have one. It uses the induction. It sends the electromagnetic signal through here. Wow, however that works. Um, I just like that. You don't have to buy coils. Uh, this is pretty thin. It could break pretty easily. As you see, I chipped the sides, fumbling it around. So, that worries me a little bit. I've been thinking about buying a spare. Um, carb cap. If I don't have it in a certain position, usually I think it's like five o'clock facing me, you know, um, I don't get the right airflow. I mean, it's perfect when I have it where it needs to be. And I don't know if that's part of, like by design or, you know, they, it's just not shaped perfectly, but it does work in the right position pretty perfectly. And I bought the bubble cap and they recommended you take this ring off and put it on the inside of here to make the, over, the bubble cap get you know, suction, and I still, I just didn't like it. Uh, it would have been cool, because I really like bubble caps, but it just wasn't for me. Um, this thing has so many settings, and it works for dry herb. I don't smoke dry herb, but I've tried it in this, and it does work pretty well. It, uh, it turns it black. Some people say it's not burning it, but it ends up, you end up with, you know, it's not ashes, it's just black bud you're done. I think I'm more upside to this. I think what there's like 25 heat settings in crystal mode and then when you go to ceramic mode you can actually I think there's more than that. <clears throat> yeah oh that's no it's the self-cleaning. There's no self-cleaning on crystal mode so that's the upside to using the ceramic. So I'm gonna rip this thing. I like to use it in either the high dark blue setting or the low low light blue the first one we'll do that one for the video I'm gonna start it up Turn it that way so you can see the lights cheers I just like to drop the dabber in there and leave it there lights heating up and you like press it you don't got to worry about not getting it in there in time and not getting the full heating time on your dab stand up for the big boy <clears throat> couple things I really like the way the bubbler hits on this one I do prefer it over the <coughs> Puffco Peak bubbler <coughs> this thing is very efficient <coughs> it seems I mean it seems to get <coughs> all the dab you know like there's <coughs> it doesn't leave like some oily residue in there 
and <coughs> you can customize the time it heats for. So if it is, you know, you can customize it to the exact size that you take. <coughs> like there's just usually what I have left is just like a dry kind of powdery little bit of <coughs> black residue that comes off the Q-tip, but I never get a burnt flavor. The flavor is really, really good. <coughs> I really enjoy it. So <coughs> what I think would be awesome is if they took the functionality of <coughs> the switch and put it into the size of the peak. That would be the perfect device for me right now. <coughs> right now, I think it's kind of right down the middle with the portability versus a little more uh, options and heat settings and <coughs> material you can dab off of. I mean, you can really control <coughs> the you know the thickness of your smoke on this a little more. Uh, you know, you have just more of a wide range than you do with the Peak. But with the Peak, you can take it with you. With this thing, I don't know. I just don't feel like you're going anywhere. <coughs> but I love them both. Uh, both of these companies hooked me up with uh, these. Pupco gave me this dope poster. And uh, Dr. Dabber just sent me this mat. So, appreciate that. Thank you. I did pay full price for both my devices, just so everyone knows. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this. <coughs> and I didn't get the devices. So this is my honest opinion on the two devices. I just like uh, new dab tech. And I pretty much use this 100% as a dab device. So this is really more of which one I prefer for dabbing or a comparison for that. So uh, I got some more reviews coming up soon. I promise to be back sooner. And uh, I really appreciate everybody who subscribes and watches these videos. Have a great day. Thank you.